Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 17th of our machine learning with Python video series and in this video we are gonna discuss about support vector regression. So just like our previous videos this video is also divided into two section. In first part we will see the theoretical explanation of what support vector regression is that is what is happening in the background of support vector regression. Then in the second part, we'll work on actual data set and see practically that how support vector regression works. So first, let's see our first part that is the theoretical explanation. So support vector regression is a part of support vector machines. Now, let me explain this more clearly. Let's say that there exists a concept called support vector machine and that concept can be applied for for both regression as well as classification data now if you don't know that what is regression and classification data i'll provide the link in the description as well as in the i button so that you can understand that what is the classification of machine learning models so when the support vector machine is applied for classification then it's called support vector classification and when this concept is applied for regression then that model is called support vector regression okay so to understand support vector regression you must understand support vector machines okay so let's see what is support vector machine the objective of support vector machine algorithm is to find a hyperplane in a n dimensional space where n stands for the number of features or the number of independent variable so let me try to explain you with a example let's say that this is the tail uh, height and tail width of let's say dogs and cats we are taking the example of classification but this is just for the explaining of support vector machine because because in majority of cases support vector machine is used for classification data only but this concept works brilliantly for our linear data so let me first explain you what is support vector machine let's say that the x-axis denotes your tail width and the y-axis is your tail height so this c1 part or these blue data points represents dogs and this c2 represent cats so there you can see there are some data points which are going out of their league there you can see these are the marginal data points let's say that there is a dog which resembles very much to a cat actually its tail resembles very much to a cat so that data point will reside at the very corner of your graph and the same happens for the cat so what we do is we take our extreme points and try to draw a hyperplane between them so this dark black line is your hyperplane which divides your extreme points with the equal distance okay so this is the best fitting margin the best fitting margin is the distance between your hyperplane and your extreme points these are your extreme points i have just explained them okay so this is the same representation in 3d if the data is somewhat mixed then you can use the 3d representation okay so this is what support vector machine was we were using hyperplane and best fitting margin to differentiate our data now this concept can also be used for our linear data let's say that our data is plotted in a linear pattern then we can use hyperplane to draw the line for them okay so this was the theoretical explanation now this is a example explain you how this support vector machine can be used for our linear regression data there you can see this is the hyperplane plotted at the equal distances from the extreme ends and there you can see this is the best fitting margin and we can use this method to uh, get our prediction okay so this was the 
theoretical explanation i am not pressing too much in the theoretical because this isn't used that much for regression we'll discuss this more deeply when we come to our classification because this is mostly used for classification okay so let's go to our notebook and start writing our code for this okay so now our first task is to import our required libraries that is uh, pandas numpy and matplotlib okay so there we go let now let's uh, import our data set so we'll be working on the same data set that is our salary position so let me import that now let's see how our data set is looking there we go this is a very small data set if you want to download this then then go to the link in the description and you can find this data set as well as this notebook there okay so so now let's uh, extract our dependent and independent data the salary column is our dependent data and this level is our independent data okay okay so now there is an extra step added for support vector regression that is feature scaling now if you don't know what feature scaling is i have created a dedicated video for that but to explain in short feature scaling means making all the numeric data uniform because there you can see that the salary data is having high numeric value whereas this level is is very small as compared to salary so to balance them we do feature scaling and in our previous models like multilinear regression and polynomial regression it was already present in our package but this svr is rarely used so we have to do feature scaling here and i have one announcement for you also which i'll give after this video so wait till the last of this video because this is a very good announcement for you all okay okay so now we are done with the feature scaling now let's plot our data points so that we can see that what is the trend we will use matplotlib here okay so there you can see that our data set is following a polynomial pattern okay so now let's import our svr package so that we can do our prediction okay so now let's create our regressor object so regressor is equal to capital svr make sure that this svr is capital and then we'll decide that what is the kernel now kernel is the method or the model used 
so by default it is rdf you can use polynomial linear any method that you want to use but we are gonna stick to our default one so rdf it should be kernel not kernel okay now let's apply our regressor model to our x and y data okay so we'll fit to this should be fit here fit to our capital x and y on which we have done our standard scaling okay so i insist you to watch our feature scaling video first because without that you won't be able to understand that why are we doing feature scaling here okay so let me fit this okay so we are getting a more warning rdf is not defined because this should be rbf i'm sorry should be rbf okay so we are getting a warning but we are gonna ignore that and our model is trained so let's plot our models to see that what is the accuracy okay okay so now let's run this and there you can see that our blue line is our prediction line and the red are our data points so it is able to satisfy all the points and now this data point is not considered because our model is considering this data point to be as outlier okay to avoid overfitting so this is it this was a short video in which I have explained you that what is SVR and we have seen how SVR works on a actual data set. Now let's come to the announcement. So the announcement is that if you are interested in social media marketing or you want to know how I grow my social media that is my Instagram page and my YouTube channel totally organically without using any paid promotion or any of external support in just three to four months then i have my channel membership on which i'll upload these type of videos and not only that i will regularly host members only live stream and members only chat so you can join that but this membership won't affect my regular videos okay there won't be any partial behavior for our members and non-members on my regular tutorials okay so if you want to join and know how i grow my social media then you can join there is a small button of join just beside the subscribe button so you will get all the detail from there okay so this is it for this video and i'll meet you in my next lecture okay so meet you there bye bye